What's up guys? This is Jonathan Wyatt here and today I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite N64 games of all time. Now these games are based on the Nintendo 64 guys. So yeah, here we go. Alright, starting off at number 10 on this list. Starting off at number 10 on this list. We have Duke Nukem 64. Now this game is a port of the original Duke Nukem 3D because um, it's it has the adult yeah adult themes in it and has some swearing in the game and a lot of violence in it so the graphics are pretty cool and uh, yeah I just like it every yeah, every way so up at number nine on this list we have Gauntlet Legends so it's a hack and slash game based off the yeah it's part of the the Gauntlet series so you play as four characters and like the wizard, warrior, archer, and uh, Valkyrie, and you team up to fight Scorn. And you team up to get the 16 rune stones to fight Scorn, and that's how the story goes. Yeah. Up at number eight on this list, um, we have uh, Pokemon Stadium. Now, Pokemon Stadium is a Pokemon game where it's on the N64, and uh, you you pick you pick various Pokemon, and uh, you battle you battle every people. Uh, the graphics are pretty cool. The gameplay is cool. The modes are are awesome, and uh, I like the Pokemon Stadium at the center of the of the map. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Up at number seven on this list, uh, we have Bomberman '64. So, Bomberman 64 is uh, is a game from the Bomberman series where you get to play as the titular hero and uh, you have to team up, no, not team up, uh, we have to fight the bad guys trying to take over the world. And you plant these bombs next to the enemies and they explode, which kills them. And, uh, and they die. And not in gruesome ways, but they just kind of shrink down as you defeat them. All right. So up at number six on this list, um, number up at number six on this list, we have Turok Two: Seeds of Evil. It's a sequel to the first Turok game, which is based off the comics. So, but with more weapons, great graphics, good gameplay, and uh, a good story to it too. The frame rate is kind of inconsistent, and uh, and but otherwise, it's still a pretty good game. So, just to let you know. All right, up at number five, we have yeah, we have the Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, which is uh, a game featuring Goemon and his friends, and as they team up to fight the bad guys to save to save Japan, and. Uh, it has a unique story, which is pretty humorous, by the way. Good graphics, great gameplay, and uh, overall, I find it a bit charming, for my opinion. Yeah, that's what I think of it. Up at number four on this list, uh, up at number four on this list, we have Star Fox 64, which is uh, a really good game, in my opinion. So... Star Fox 64 Star, where you play as Fox McCloud and as you, as you and your buddies team up and stop Andros from taking over the Lilat system, and the, and thus you do that at the end of the game. The it's a railway shooting game where we only play as Fox, and uh, and you shoot at the bad guys. You can also charge up your uh, your blaster, yeah, and that kills them too to get extra points. So, yeah, the story yeah, the story's pretty good. Um, the gameplay the gameplay is pretty yeah, the gameplay is pretty great, and uh, and overall, I think, and I also love the music too. It's pretty cool. Now, number three on this list, we have uh, Super Mario sixty four. Now, this is Mario's first game in the three D wor in the three D world. We have Mario going through the castle and going through different levels, and uh, as you try to get the you know, 120 power stars to defeat Bowser and save Princess Peach, 
The controls are great. Controls are great. The graphics are amazing. And uh, the, the controls, good. And the story, great. Yeah. I recommend you playing that game. Anyway, starting off with number two on this list, we have GoldenEye 007. Yeah. <laughs> it's a James Bond game based off the, the James Bond series. So you play as Bond, where you have to go around uh, shooting people, or mainly bad guys. And it's based off the movie GoldenEye. So I think the graphics, graphics are amazing. And the gameplay and controls, they're, they're up there. They're really good. So this, yeah, I definitely recommend you playing GoldenEye 007 for the N64. And there's a remake for the game on the Wii. Uh, not talking, not talking about the Wii U. I'm talking about the actual Wii. Yeah, I definitely recommend you playing that game. Anyway, we have my all-time favorite N64 game, and personally, my favorite video game of all time, The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. It has everything a it has everything a video game a video game has for me. A great story, great characters, great great story, great amazing characters, great controls, tight controls. Um, um, amazing graphics and all other stuff, and uh, I really really want you to play it because it's that good of a video game and it's certainly my favorite video game of all time and there's also ports of the game on the on the Nintendo GameCube virtual console and uh, on the on the Nintendo 3DS and I have three versions of it one on the N64 one on the GameCube and one on the 3DS so so anyway so anyway, that's my top 10 favorite video So anyway, that's my top 10 favorite N64 games of all time. So I hope you like this video and stay tuned everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, as I said, stay tuned for more videos that I make.